What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're going to be looking at Hermitcraft Season 8 and all the mega projects that they're currently doing on the server. Nobody's mega base is finished yet, they're all work in progresses, so we're going to show off what they've done so far and explain a little bit of what they're going to build later on in the season. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it and if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We are covering everything Hermitcraft. Uh, mega bases, the new updates, and even mods. So stick around on the channel and check out our other content. Let's jump right into today's video. So first up we are looking at Tango Tech who is building a base inside of a giant mountain. This mountain wasn't actually built by him but he's using it for his base and it looks absolutely insane. Uh, he's built only the entrance so far but even the entrance looks crazy and I can't wait to see what he builds inside of this. All he knows for sure is that he's going to be building a storage room inside of it. He doesn't exactly know what he's going to be doing yet, but he's working out some plans and hopefully we see that in the near future. This is a great use of his copper farm being able to use the oxidized copper inside this and it looks absolutely great. Definitely can't wait for this build later on. Next up we are looking at Gemini Tay who is building a base on top of this hill. She's not too sure yet what exactly it's going to be. Uh, per se, but it is going to be a massive build on top of a hill which she's terraforming to fit the base as well. Definitely excited to see what this base ends up looking like. Uh, she's an incredible builder so it should turn out very cool. So far this base is just a wireframe and I think she's actually added some flat walls in her most recent video so we're not really too sure what the final product of this base is going to look like since it is all just flat sandstone walls currently. The shape of it does look incredible so far and I definitely can't wait for all the final details to be put into this base. It should end up looking very cool and it's in a great location as you can see Doc M and Rindog's base in the background there. I'm sure that when the infinite lightning generator is activated it is very noisy around this area. Next up we are looking at Cubfan who is full sending the new dripstone block and building absolutely everything out of it. Uh, it looks absolutely incredible of course and he's building an entire canyon using his dripstone farm uh, out of all this dripstone. It's looking incredible so far and I definitely can't wait for it to be done. Even the storage room looks incredible with all the dripstone and glow berries everything in there. And you can see here the canyon layout that he's doing. All the green slime blocks uh, is the actual path of where the canyon is going to go. And so he's doing all the work on that to get it. Uh, the foundations laid for this entire canyon area. Definitely a major project and I love seeing the new 1.17 blocks get used in all this area so it should be a very interesting build once it's finally finished. Next up we're looking at Doc M and Rindog and this incredible crab kind of walking base that they built uh, that also generates a lot of lightning. This thing is pretty insane and actually looks really cool. It was a viewer submitted schematic actually and they decided to build it. They have a lot going on on their side of the uh, the world and they have their chicken, the underground sewer area and so much more going on but I wanted to include this mega project as it was their first you know kind of huge mega base that they built in the Hermitcraft season 8 series. Next up we have Mumbo Jumbo who is building a pretty incredible base uh, which is a huge mountain uh, with a lot of greenery hanging off the sides of it and then some ruins uh, to cover it once it's finally finished. Uh, he's very early stages and he's just built up the entire stone structure so far and done some of the greenery. He's been working on uh, the rest of it in his latest episode but it's definitely coming out really cool and his base is actually going to end up being connected to Grian's once Grian starts working more on his base as well. I love the idea of this base and especially how easily he can terraform with the new moss block. It definitely helps them to be able to actually build this whole thing, especially since it already takes hours and hours to build the entire structure already. This is definitely one of the builds on the server that I'm most excited to see finished. I definitely can't wait to see all the ruins and the water flowing through this base once it's done. Uh, so I'm looking forward to when Mumbo finally finishes up his base. Next up we have XB Crafted who is hollowing out this whole oval area and building an entire tinted glass dome over it. Definitely a very interesting build. I love seeing the new tinted glass being used as well. 
and it's looking very cool so far. His dome is currently in progress, but he has a big majority of it done already. So it's definitely very exciting to see when this project is finished and what it looks like as a final product. Next up, one of the biggest foundations on the server is from Impulse and he's building up a huge factory area. As you can see here, he's doing some deep slate and glowstone walls, which I think look incredible. Definitely a very cool block pairing and he's using all the variations of deep slate to give it a lot of variety. This factory area is going to be incredible and he's done a lot of work on it so far. This is actually probably one of the builds with the most work put into it so far. Uh, especially for how massive it is. Impulse even had to build his own land out into the ocean because his foundations were so big. He wanted to go above and beyond in this season and he's definitely trying to overtake Mumbo, who's right next to him as the biggest base in this area. So it's definitely gonna be interesting to see the final product of this base, which honestly shouldn't be too far away considering how much work he's already put into this area. This whole area is the factory courtyard and it's full of bricks, deep slate, and a ton of different blocks that make this area look incredibly interesting. Uh, other than Mumbo, this is probably one of my other uh, bases that I really can't wait to see finished just because of all the work he's already put into it. I already can see it is looking amazing. Next up we have a slime filled base and that is from iJevin who has created an entire circle area where he's shown that he's going to dig straight down to bedrock in this circle and actually make it an entire slime abyss which I think sounds incredibly cool. Uh, he says there's going to be a lot of glass, slime, and a bunch of layers in the base so I'm definitely excited to see this one. It sounds very interesting from what he's described so far and the only thing he's done so far is make a major circle and dig part of it down on his way to bed. iJevin has been streaming uh, his work on this base so definitely go and check out those streams and his videos as well. Uh, but it is looking very cool so far and he's put a lot of work into building uh, this circle which as you can see I don't know the exact dimensions but it is huge. So it's definitely going to take a long time to get this area all the way down to bedrock but once he does get it there it's going to look very cool with all these slime and everything else he includes in it. Next up we have not really a mega base but actually a base that is being done uh, by Corallus and Pearlescent Moon. It was actually all finished pretty much in one episode, they just have the interior to do. And this is not a base that either of them are going to be living in, but rather it's a base that they're using to trick b O into stealing his clocks from him. Things like this on the Hermitcraft server is why I'm pretty sure we all love watching their videos. They went ahead and built a base that 90% of people couldn't build just for a prank on BWO rather than any of them actually living in it. This is one of the coolest things that has been built on the server so far and it's great seeing these two work together because they are both incredible builders and put a lot of detail into all their work. I'm definitely excited to see more of what Corallus and Pearlescent Moon do on the server later on. Uh, them working together is obviously incredible and I hope they work more together in the future. Next up, Scar has added more onto his wagon and it is the Emerald Hotel. Everything he builds on this wagon is so unique and I definitely love watching all these builds. Uh, they look very good and they are extremely detailed so it's definitely fun watching Scar build all of this and I hope he continues on the wagon trend throughout the whole season just because it is so fun to watch and it is completely, completely unique to anything I've ever seen before in Minecraft. By the end of the season, Scar is probably going to end up with about 50 wagons attached to the lead wagon. I really hope this trend continues because it is amazing to watch so far. Last up today, we have Grian, who is working on a very interesting idea built into an artificial mountain that he's currently working on. His base is actually going to end up connecting to Mumbo's uh, later on in the series once he actually builds up his mountain more. And this whole area is going to look sort of like Diagon Alley from Harry Potter. It's going to be filled with uh, shops and all different things throughout uh, the sides of this red line that he has right here. And it's going to be a huge kind of cave all through this area. Definitely a very interesting idea and I'm very excited to see uh, his terraforming and what he does later on with it. Uh, he's done a very similar uh, theme to his build as Mumbo Jumbo, which makes a lot of sense considering their bases are going to be connected. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and stick around and see what other stuff we've got. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.